Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, today I want us to learn how, you know, what is a UPS and how does it uh, work? Okay. Now, the main purpose of uh, a UPS uh, is to provide a short-term power during an outage. All right. Now, this UPS ensure that connected devices uh, continue to be powered even during that uh, outage. Okay. Now, this UPS, it has a main component, uh, which is a battery. So it has got a various uh, component, which makes it to be a very uh, essential and ideal uh, device in our home or offices. Now, there are uh, key components that we can look at in this device here. Now, there are around five key components here. Okay. So we have got uh, the battery. We have got the inverter. We have got uh, the rectifier, a uh, charger. We have got uh, an ATS and the surge uh, protector. Okay. All, uh, you know, encased in, in this whole device. All right. Now, because it's an interrupted uh, power uh, supply, all right, meaning that if there is no power, this guy will come in. But how does, does it come in? So it has got a battery. One of the first key component is a battery. So this is a, a 7 ampere hour battery 12 volts. Now, usually, uh, most of uh, the UPS, uh, the small UPS, usually use uh, 12 volts to 24 volts uh, voltage, DC voltage. Okay. And also, you would find sometimes uh, 70 ampere hour to around 60 ampere hour, uh, you know, uh, capacity of the battery uh, inside here. Now, here we have got uh, a 7 ampere hour battery. Now, this the purpose of this battery is to store charge okay and now uh during the outage the charge which is stored here will be used to power now uh the connected load okay all right now usually uh the time which will your device will stay connected it will depend on the capacity of uh this battery but we've already learned that it is seven uh, ampere hour and then the efficient of the entire uh, system okay now the second key point we can look at an inverter now that inverter it's incorporated in here okay so this is what happens because we have got charge stored in this battery all right and now we don't have power. So what the inverter does converts the DC power from this battery into AC. Because now the loads that you've connected to this uh, UPS are AC. And now there is no AC. So this charge is supposed to be converted into AC such that it can be used on your load. Okay. All right. Now, the second uh, crucial component would be a charger. Okay, so this uh, board here, we have a charger. Okay, and now this charger will convert some of the AC uh, power into DC. Okay, if there is grid and it is stable, all right, now the charger here or the rectifier here will now uh, convert the AC, some of it, into DC, such that this battery can be charged. So whenever there was an outage, this battery depletes or it dis discharges because it's supplying the load. Now, when the grid resumes, that uh, charger will have to charge this battery so that it can be full for the next uh, outage. All right? Now, the next... Uh, the next uh, key component would be automatic transfer switch <laughs> or changeover switch. Now, here we have got the automatic uh, transfer switch. Okay. Now, you realize that we have got grid here. So, you have a cord which connects 
the this UPS to the grid on your wall. Okay, so that grid, as you connect this UPS, it will pass that grid to your load. Okay, it will pass that grid to your load. Now, in case if there is an outage, the ATS automatic transfer switch will switch. Okay, uh, between the power source, which now the main utility power supply, which is now out, to the battery. Okay, and we've already seen the other key component as an inverter. Okay, and now uh, the load will be put on the on the battery. All right, yeah. So that's it. Now, the other one we can look at is surge protection. Now, this guy has got surge protection, so uh, the UPS will protect the connected devices from uh, surge spikes. Uh, under voltage, over voltage, all those kind of scenarios, uh, this will be connected. Now, the UPS uh, doesn't have like these uh, other, like other UPSs have got uh, you know servo motors whereby if there is under voltage, over voltage, especially under voltage, they usually compensate uh, without you know chipping in uh, the battery. All right. But now this one because doesn't have that, so every time there is the uh, you know under voltage over voltage, it will now bring in the battery briefly. Okay, so all that is encased in here. Okay, so that's what makes uh, a UPS uh, unique. Now, okay, how does it work? Let us uh, look at uh, the mode of operation. Okay, now. The normal operation, if we start with the normal operation. Now, the normal operation, you connect uh, this guy into the wall, and then that voltage will pass on to the loads, to the connected loads, uh, you know, through here, okay? At the same time, uh, the rectifier which we talked about will be charging the battery, and if the battery is full, it will float, uh, okay, until we until we have the next outage all right now if if power if we have a blackout now we go into the backup mode all right because it's called an interrupted power supply eh? the battery will come in so meaning that the ATS will switch from the main source now to the battery okay which will have shifted from the main source uh to the battery okay all right. Now, at the same time, the inverter will now invert, uh, convert the DC voltage, which is now stored here, to AC for your loads to be, you, you, you know, uh, to work. And this all happens so quickly. Okay. So, usually that's what happens. All right. Now, if the power restores or if the grid uh, restores, this is what happens, you know, because currently if the system is on the battery, when the power restores, the ATS will, you know, recognize uh, the mains and then will switch from the battery to the, uh, to the mains, okay? And then uh, the rectifier or the charger will now start to charge the battery and now it will float and wait for the next what? For the next, uh, you know, outage all right so basically that's how this guy work now this is a transformer okay this is a, a step up transformer because now uh you have a voltage which is uh 12 uh dc all right and now you need to step it up and then put, uh, convert it back to uh, to ac you know so that's the purpose of this guy so during uh, the outage, when when we are converting, this is when this transformer works the most. Okay? All right. Now, that has been it. Okay? Uh, you know, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, to like. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. Thank you very much. Until next time. I'm out.